Alkane, Wikipedia article audio. In organic chemistry, an alkane, or paraffin, is an acyclic saturated hydrocarbon. In other words, an alkane consists of hydrogen and carbon atoms arranged in a tree structure in which all the carbon-carbon bonds are single. Alkanes have the general chemical formula CNH2N plus 2. The alkanes range in complexity from the simplest case of methane, CH4 where N equals 1, to arbitrarily large molecules. Besides this standard definition by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, in some authors' usage the term alkane is applied to any saturated hydrocarbon, including those that are either monocyclic or polycyclic. Structure Classification Isomerism In an alkane, each carbon atom has four bonds, and each hydrogen atom is joined to one of the carbon atoms. The longest series of linked carbon atoms in a molecule is known as its carbon skeleton or carbon backbone. The number of carbon atoms may be thought of as the size of the alkane. One group of the higher alkanes are waxes, solids at standard ambient temperature and pressure, for which the number of carbons in the carbon backbone is greater than about 17. With their repeated CH2 units, the alkanes constitute a homologous series of organic compounds in which the members differ in molecular mass by multiples of 14.03 U. Alkanes are not very reactive and have little biological activity. They can be viewed as molecular trees upon which can be hung the more active-slash-reactive functional groups of biological molecules. The alkanes have two main commercial sources, petroleum and natural gas. Nomenclature An alkyl group, generally abbreviated with the symbol R, is a functional group that, like an alkane, consists solely of single bonded carbon and hydrogen atoms connected acyclically for example, a methyl or ethyl group. Saturated hydrocarbons are hydrocarbons having only single covalent bonds between their carbons. They can be Linear alkanes According to the definition by IUPAC, the former two are alkanes, whereas the third group is called cycloalkanes. Saturated hydrocarbons can also combine any of the linear, cyclic, and branching structures, the general formula is C, NH, 2N2K two plus 2, where K is the number of independent loops. Alkanes are the acyclic ones, corresponding to K equals 0. Alkanes with more than three carbon atoms can be arranged in various different ways, forming structural isomers. The simplest isomer of an alkane is the one in which the carbon atoms are arranged in a single chain with no branches. This isomer is sometimes called the N-isomer. However the chain of carbon atoms may also be branched at one or more points. The number of possible isomers increases rapidly with the number of carbon atoms. For example, for acyclic alkanes. Branched alkanes can be chiral. For example, 3-methylhexane and its higher homologs are chiral due to their stereogenic center at carbon atom number 3. In addition to the alkane isomers, the chain of carbon atoms may form one or more loops. Such compounds are called cycloalkanes. Stereoisomers and cyclic compounds are excluded when calculating the number of isomers above. Branched alkanes The IUPAC nomenclature for alkanes is based on identifying hydrocarbon chains. Unbranched, saturated hydrocarbon chains are named systematically with a Greek numerical prefix denoting the number of carbons and the suffix ane. Saturated cyclic hydrocarbons 
In 1866, August Wilhelm von Hoffmann suggested systematizing nomenclature by using the whole sequence of vowels a, e, i, o and u to create suffixes ain, ene, ine, dash 1, un, for the hydrocarbons CNH2N plus 2, CNH2N, CNH2N2, CNH2N4, CNH2N6. Now, the first three name hydrocarbons with single, double, and triple bonds, one represents a ketone, OL represents an alcohol or O group, oxy means an ether and refers to oxygen between two carbons, so that methoxymethane is the IUPAC name for dimethyl ether. Trivial slash common names it is difficult or impossible to find compounds with more than one IUPAC name. This is because shorter chains attached to longer chains are prefixes and the convention includes brackets. Numbers in the name, referring to which carbon a group is attached to, should be as low as possible so that one is implied and usually omitted from names of organic compounds with only one side group. Symmetric compounds will have two ways of arriving at the same name. Straight chain alkanes are sometimes indicated by the prefix N where a nonlinear isomer exists. Although this is not strictly necessary, the usage is still common in cases where there is an important difference in properties between the straight chain and branched chain isomers, e.g., N hexane or 2 or 3 methylpentane. Alternative names for this group are, linear paraffins or N-paraffins. Physical Properties The members of the series are named as follows. The first four names were derived from methanol, ether, propionic acid and butyric acid, respectively. Alkanes with five or more carbon atoms are named by adding the suffix ane to the appropriate numerical multiplier prefix with elision of any terminal vowel from the basic numerical term. Hence, pentane, C5H12, hexane, C6H14, heptane, C7H16, octane, C8H18, etc. The prefix is generally Greek, however alkanes with a carbon atom count ending in 9, for example nonane, use the Latin prefix non. For a more complete list, see list of alkanes. Simple branched alkanes often have a common name using a prefix to distinguish them from linear alkanes, for example n-pentane, isopentane, and neopentane. IUPAC naming conventions can be used to produce a systematic name. The key steps in the naming of more complicated branched alkanes are as follows. Table of alkanes Though technically distinct from the alkanes, this class of hydrocarbons is referred to by some as the cyclic alkanes. As their description implies, they contain one or more rings. Boiling point Simple cycloalkanes have a prefix cyclo to distinguish them from alkanes. Cycloalkanes are named as per their acyclic counterparts with respect to the number of carbon atoms in their backbones, e.g., cyclopentane is a cycloalkane with five carbon atoms just like pentane, but they are joined up in a five-membered ring. In a similar manner, propane and cyclopropane, butane and cyclobutane, etc. Linear wherein the carbon atoms are joined in a snake-like structure, branched wherein the carbon backbone splits off in one or more directions, cyclic wherein the carbon backbone is linked so as to form a loop. Substituted cycloalkanes are named similarly to substituted alkanes the cycloalkane ring is stated, and the substituents are according to their position on the ring, with the numbering decided by the Ken-Ingold-Prelog priority rules.
The trivial name for alkanes is paraffins. Together, alkanes are known as the paraffin series. Trivial names for compounds are usually historical artifacts. They were coined before the development of systematic names, and have been retained due to familiar usage in industry. Cycloalkanes are also called naphthenes. C1, methane only, C2, ethane only, C3, propane only, C4, two isomers, and butane and isobutane, C5, three isomers, pentane, isopentane, and neopentane, C6, five isomers, hexane, two methylpentane, three methylpentane, two comma two dimethylbutane, and two comma three dimethylbutane, C12, three hundred and fifty five isomers, C32, 27,711,253,769 isomers, C60, 22,158,734,535,770,411,074,184 isomers, many of which are not stable. It is almost certain that the term paraffin stems from the petrochemical industry. Branched chain alkanes are called isoparaffins. The use of the term paraffin is a general term and often does not distinguish between pure compounds and mixtures of isomers, i.e., compounds of the same chemical formula, e.g., pentane and isopentane. Melting points Conductivity and solubility Molecular geometry Bond lengths and bond angles The following trivial names are retained in the IUPAC system. Identify the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms, name this longest root chain using standard naming rules. Name each side chain by changing the suffix of the name of the alkane from ane to yl. Number the root chain in order to give the lowest possible numbers for the side chains. Number and name the side chains before the name of the root chain. If there are multiple side chains of the same type, use prefixes such as d and try to indicate it as such, and number each one. Add side. Chain names in alphabetical order in front of the name of the root chain. All alkanes are colorless and odorless. Alkanes experience intermolecular van der Waals forces. Stronger intermolecular van der Waals forces give rise to greater boiling points of alkanes. There are two determinants for the strength of the van der Waals forces. Isobutane for 2-methylpropane, isopentane for 2-methylbutane, neopentane for 2,2-dimethylpropane. Under standard conditions, from CH4 to C4H10 alkanes are gaseous, from C5H12 to C17H36 they are liquids, and after C18H38 they are solids. As the boiling point of alkanes is primarily determined by weight, it should not be a surprise that the boiling point has almost a linear relationship with the size of the molecule. As a rule of thumb, the boiling point rises 20-30 degrees C for each carbon added to the chain, this rule applies to other homologous series. A straight chain alkane will have a boiling point higher than a branched chain alkane due to the greater surface area in contact, thus the greater van der Waals forces, between adjacent molecules. For example, compare isobutane and n-butane, which boil at 12 and 0 degrees Celsius, and 2,2-dimethylbutane and 2,3-dimethylbutane which boil at 50 and 58 degrees Celsius, respectively. For the latter case, two molecules 2,3-dimethylbutane can lock into each other better than the cross-shaped 2,2-dimethylbutane, 
hence the greater van der Waals forces. On the other hand, cycloalkanes tend to have higher boiling points than their linear counterparts due to the locked conformations of the molecules, which give a plane of intermolecular contact. Conformation The melting points of the alkanes follow a similar trend to boiling points for the same reason as outlined above. That is, the larger the molecule the higher the melting point. There is one significant difference between boiling points and melting points. Solids have more rigid and fixed structure than liquids. This rigid structure requires energy to break down. Thus the better put together solid structures will require more energy to break apart. For alkanes, this can be seen from the graph above. The odd-numbered alkanes have a lower trend in melting points than even-numbered alkanes. This is because even-numbered alkanes pack well in the solid phase, forming a well-organized structure, which requires more energy to break apart. The odd-numbered alkanes pack less well and so the looser organized solid packing structure requires less energy to break apart. The melting points of branched chain alkanes can be either higher or lower than those of the corresponding straight chain alkanes, again depending on the ability of the alkane in question to pack well in the solid phase, this is particularly true for isoalkanes, which often have melting points higher than those of the linear analogs. Alkanes do not conduct electricity in any way nor are they substantially polarized by an electric field. For this reason, they do not form hydrogen bonds and are insoluble in polar solvents such as water. Since the hydrogen bonds between individual water molecules are aligned away from an alkane molecule, the coexistence of an alkane and water leads to an increase in molecular order. As there is no significant bonding between water molecules and alkane molecules, the second law of thermodynamics suggests that this reduction in entropy should be minimized by minimizing the contact between alkane and water. Alkanes are said to be hydrophobic in that they repel water. Spectroscopic Properties Infrared Spectroscopy NMR Spectroscopy their solubility in nonpolar solvents is relatively good, a property that is called lipophilicity. Different alkanes are, for example, miscible in all proportions among themselves. The density of the alkanes usually increases with the number of carbon atoms but remains less than that of water. Hence, alkanes form the upper layer in an alkane water mixture. The molecular structure of the alkanes directly affects their physical and chemical characteristics. It is derived from the electron configuration of carbon, which has four valence electrons. The carbon atoms in alkanes are always sp3 hybridized, that is to say that the valence electrons are said to be in four equivalent orbitals derived from the combination of the 2s orbital and the 3 2p orbitals. These orbitals, which have identical energies, are arranged spatially in the form of a tetrahedron, the angle of cos 1 109.47 degrees between them. An alkane molecule has only CH and CC single bonds. The former result from the overlap of an sp3 orbital of carbon with the 1's orbital of a hydrogen, the latter by the overlap of two sp3 orbitals on different carbon atoms. The bond lengths amount to 1.09 times 1010 m for a CH bond and 1.54 times 1010 m for a CC bond. The spatial arrangement of the bonds is similar to that of the four sp3 orbitals they are tetrahedrally arranged with an angle of 109.47 degrees between them. Structural formulae that represent the bonds as being at right angles to one another, while both common and useful, 
do not correspond with the reality. Mass spectrometry The structural formula and the bond angles are not usually sufficient to completely describe the geometry of a molecule. There is a further degree of freedom for each carbon-carbon bond, the torsion angle between the atoms or groups bound to the atoms at each end of the bond. The spatial arrangement described by the torsion angles of the molecule is known as its conformation. Ethane forms the simplest case for studying the conformation of alkanes, as there is only one C-C bond. If one looks down the axis of the C-C bond, one will see the so-called Newman projection. The hydrogen atoms on both the front and rear carbon atoms have an angle of 120 degrees between them, resulting from the projection of the base of the tetrahedron onto a flat plane. However, the torsion angle between a given hydrogen atom attached to the front carbon and a given hydrogen atom attached to the rear carbon can vary freely between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. This is a consequence of the free rotation about a carbon-carbon single bond. Despite this apparent freedom, only two limiting conformations are important eclipsed conformation and staggered conformation. The two conformations, also known as rotomers, differ in energy, the staggered conformation is 12.6 kJ slash mole lower in energy than the eclipsed conformation. This difference in energy between the two conformations, known as the torsion energy, is low compared to the thermal energy of an ethane molecule at ambient temperature. There is constant rotation about the C-C bond. The time taken for an ethane molecule to pass from one staggered conformation to the next, equivalent to the rotation of one CH3 group by 120 degrees relative to the other, is of the order of 10-11 seconds. The case of higher alkanes is more complex but based on similar principles, with the antiperiplanar conformation always being the most favored around each carbon-carbon bond. For this reason, alkanes are usually shown in a zigzag arrangement in diagrams or in models. The actual structure will always differ somewhat from these idealized forms as the differences in energy between the conformations are small compared to the thermal energy of the molecules, alkane molecules have no fixed structural form, whatever the models may suggest. Virtually all organic compounds contain carbon-carbon, and carbon-hydrogen bonds, and so show some of the features of alkanes in their spectra. Alkanes are notable for having no other groups, and therefore for the absence of other characteristic spectroscopic features of a different functional group like O, CHO, COOH etc. The carbon-hydrogen stretching mode gives a strong absorption between 2850 and 2960 cm1, while the carbon-carbon stretching mode absorbs between 800 and 1300 cm1. The carbon-hydrogen bending modes depend on the nature of the group, methyl groups show bands at 1450 cm1 and 1375 cm1, while methylene groups show bands at 1465 cm1 and 1450 cm1. Carbon chains with more than four carbon atoms show a weak absorption at around 725 cm1. The proton resonances of alkanes are usually found at delta H equals 0.51.5. The carbon-13 resonances depend on the number of hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon, delta C equals 830, 1555. 2060 and quaternary. The carbon-13 resonance of quaternary carbon atoms is characteristically weak, due to the lack of nuclear overhauser effect and the long relaxation time, and can be missed in weak samples, 
or samples that have not been run for a sufficiently long time. Alkanes have a high ionization energy, and the molecular ion is usually weak. The fragmentation pattern can be difficult to interpret, but, in the case of branched chain alkanes, the carbon chain is preferentially cleaved at tertiary or quaternary carbons due to the relative stability of the resulting free radicals. The fragment resulting from the loss of a single methyl group is often absent, and other fragments are often spaced by intervals of 14 mass units, corresponding to sequential loss of CH2 groups. Alkanes are only weakly reactive with ionic and other polar substances. The acid dissociation constant values of all alkanes are above 60, hence they are practically inert to acids and bases. This inertness is the source of the term paraffins. In crude oil the alkane molecules have remained chemically unchanged for millions of years. Chemical Properties Reactions with Oxygen However redox reactions of alkanes, in particular with oxygen and the halogens, are possible as the carbon atoms are in a strongly reduced condition, in the case of methane, the lowest possible oxidation state for carbon is reached. Reaction with oxygen leads to combustion without any smoke, producing carbon dioxide and water. Free radical halogenation reactions occur with halogens, leading to the production of haloalkanes. In addition, alkanes have been shown to interact with, and bind to, certain transition metal complexes in CH bond activation. Free radicals, molecules with unpaired electrons, play a large role in most reactions of alkanes, such as cracking and reformation where long-chain alkanes are converted into shorter-chain alkanes and straight-chain alkanes into branched-chain isomers. Reactions with halogens in highly branched alkanes, the bond angle may differ significantly from the optimal value in order to allow the different groups sufficient space. This causes a tension in the molecule, known as steric hindrance, and can substantially increase the reactivity. Cracking Isomerization and reformation Other reactions Occurrence Occurrence of alkanes in the universe Occurrence of alkanes on Earth Biological occurrence Ecological relations Production Petroleum refining Fischer-Tropsch Laboratory preparation Applications Environmental transformations all alkanes react with oxygen in a combustion reaction, although they become increasingly difficult to ignite as the number of carbon atoms increases. The general equation for complete combustion is In the absence of sufficient oxygen, carbon monoxide or even soot can be formed, as shown below. For example, methane. See the alkane heat of formation table for detailed data. The standard enthalpy change of combustion, delta CHO, for alkanes increases by about 650 kJ slash mole per CH2 group. Branched chain alkanes have lower values of delta CHO than straight chain alkanes of the same number of carbon atoms, and so can be seen to be somewhat more stable. Alkanes react with halogens in a so-called free radical halogenation reaction. The hydrogen atoms of the alkane are progressively replaced by halogen atoms. Free radicals are the reactive species that participate in the reaction, which usually leads to a mixture of products. The reaction is highly exothermic, and can lead to an explosion. These reactions are an important industrial route to halogenated hydrocarbons. 
There are three steps. Experiments have shown that all halogenation produces a mixture of all possible isomers, indicating that all hydrogen atoms are susceptible to reaction. The mixture produced, however, is not a statistical mixture, secondary and tertiary hydrogen atoms are preferentially replaced due to the greater stability of secondary and tertiary free radicals. An example can be seen in the monobromination of propane. Cracking breaks larger molecules into smaller ones. This can be done with a thermal or catalytic method. The thermal cracking process follows a homolytic mechanism with formation of free radicals. The catalytic cracking process involves the presence of acid catalysts which promote a heterolytic breakage of bonds yielding pairs of ions of opposite charges, usually a carbocation and the very unstable hydride anion. Carbon localized free radicals and cations are both highly unstable and undergo processes of chain rearrangement, CC scission in position beta and intra and intermolecular hydrogen transfer or hydride transfer. In both types of processes, the corresponding reactive intermediates are permanently regenerated, and thus they proceed by a self-propagating chain mechanism. The chain of reactions is eventually terminated by radical or ion recombination. Dragan and his colleague were the first to report about isomerization in alkanes. Isomerization and reformation are processes in which straight-chain alkanes are heated in the presence of a platinum catalyst. In isomerization, the alkanes become branched-chain isomers. In other words, it does not lose any carbons or hydrogens, keeping the same molecular weight. In reformation, the alkanes become cycloalkanes or aromatic hydrocarbons giving off hydrogen as a byproduct. Both of these processes raise the octane number of the substance. Butane is the most common alkane that is put under the process of isomerization, as it makes many branched alkanes with high octane numbers. Alkanes will react with steam in the presence of a nickel catalyst to give hydrogen. Alkanes can be chlorosulfonated and nitrate although both reactions require special conditions. The fermentation of alkanes to carboxylic acids is of some technical importance. In the Reed reaction, sulfur dioxide, chlorine, and light convert hydrocarbons to sulfonyl chlorides. Nucleophilic abstraction can be used to separate an alkane from a metal. Alkyl groups can be transferred from one compound to another by transmetallation reactions. Alkanes form a small portion of the atmospheres of the outer gas planets such as Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Titan, a satellite of Saturn, was examined by the Huygens probe, which indicated that Titan's atmosphere periodically rains liquid methane onto the Moon's surface. Also on Titan the Cassini mission has imaged seasonal methane-slash-ethane lakes near the polar regions of Titan. Methane and ethane have also been detected in the tail of the comet Hyakutake. Chemical analysis showed that the abundances of ethane and methane were roughly equal, which is thought to imply that its ices formed in interstellar space, away from the Sun, which would have evaporated these volatile molecules. Alkanes have also been detected in meteorites such as carbonaceous chondrites. Traces of methane gas occur in the Earth's atmosphere, produced primarily by methanogenic microorganisms, such as archaea in the gut of ruminants. The most important commercial sources for alkanes are natural gas and oil. Natural gas contains primarily methane and ethane. With some propane and butane, oil is a mixture of liquid alkanes and other hydrocarbons. 
These hydrocarbons were formed when marine animals and plants died and sank to the bottom of ancient seas and were covered with sediments in an anoxic environment and converted over many millions of years at high temperatures and high pressure to their current form. Natural gas resulted thereby for example from the following reaction. These hydrocarbon deposits, collected in porous rocks trapped beneath impermeable cap rocks, comprise commercial oil fields. They have formed over millions of years and once exhausted cannot be readily replaced. The depletion of these hydrocarbons reserves is the basis for what is known as the energy crisis. Methane is also present in what is called biogas, produced by animals and decaying matter, which is a possible renewable energy source. Alkanes have a low solubility in water, so the content in the oceans is negligible, however, at high pressures and low temperatures, methane can CO crystallize with water to form a solid methane clathrate. Although this cannot be commercially exploited at the present time, the amount of combustible energy of the known methane clathrate fields exceeds the energy content of all the natural gas and oil deposits put together. Methane extracted from methane clathrate is, therefore, a candidate for future fuels. Acyclic alkanes occur in nature in various ways. Certain types of bacteria can metabolize alkanes. They prefer even-numbered carbon chains as they are easier to degrade than odd-numbered chains. On the other hand, certain archaea, the methanogens, produce large quantities of methane by the metabolism of carbon dioxide or other oxidized organic compounds. The energy is released by the oxidation of hydrogen. Methanogens are also the producers of marsh gas in wetlands and release about 2 billion tons of methane per year the atmospheric content of this gas is produced nearly exclusively by them. The methane output of cattle and other herbivores, which can release up to 150 liters per day, and of termites, is also due to methanogens. They also produce this simplest of all alkanes in the intestines of humans. Methanogenic archaea are Hence, at the end of the carbon cycle, with carbon being released back into the atmosphere after having been fixed by photosynthesis. It is probable that our current deposits of natural gas were formed in a similar way. Alkanes also play a role, if a minor role, in the biology of the three eukaryotic groups of organisms, fungi, plants and animals. Some specialized yeasts, e.g., Candida tropicale, Pichia sp., Rhodotorula sp., can use alkanes as a source of carbon or energy. The fungus Amorphotheca resini prefers the longer chain alkanes in aviation fuel, and can cause serious problems for aircraft in tropical regions. In plants, the solid long-chain alkanes are found in the plant cuticle and epicuticular wax of many species, but are only rarely major constituents. They protect the plant against water loss, prevent the leaching of important minerals by the rain, and protect against bacteria, fungi, and harmful insects. The carbon chains in plant alkanes are usually odd-numbered between 27 and 33 carbon atoms in length and are made by the plants by decarboxylation of even-numbered fatty acids. The exact composition of the layer of wax is not only species-dependent but changes also with the season and such environmental factors as lighting conditions, temperature, or humidity. More volatile short-chain alkanes are also produced by and found in plant tissues. The Jeffrey pine is noted for producing exceptionally high levels of N, heptane in its resin, for which reason its distillate was designated as the 0 0.41 octane rating. Floral scents have also long been known to contain volatile alkane components, and N, 
nonane is a significant component in the scent of some roses. Emission of gaseous and volatile alkanes such as ethane, pentane, and hexane by plants has also been documented at low levels, though they are not generally considered to be a major component of biogenic air pollution. Edible vegetable oils also typically contain small fractions of biogenic alkanes with a wide spectrum of carbon numbers, mainly 8 to 35, usually peaking in the low to upper 20s with concentrations up to dozens of milligrams per kilogram and sometimes over a hundred for the total alkane fraction. Alkanes are found in animal products, although they are less important than unsaturated hydrocarbons. One example is the shark liver oil, which is approximately 14% pristanet. They are important as pheromones, chemical messenger materials, on which insects depend for communication. In some species, e.g. the support beetle Xylotrichus colonus, pentacosane, 3-methylpentaicosane, and 9-methylpentaicosane are transferred by body contact. With others like the Tsetse fly Glossina morsitans morsitans, the pheromone contains the 4-alkanes 2-methylheptade cane, 17,21 dimethyleptotriacontane, 15,19 dimethyleptotriacontane, and 15,19,23 trimethyleptotriacontane, and acts by smell over longer distances. Waggle dancing honeybees produce and release two alkanes, tricosane and pentacosane. One example, in which both plant and animal alkanes play a role, is the ecological relationship between the sand bee and the early spider orchid, the latter is dependent for pollination on the former. Sand bees use pheromones in order to identify a mate, in the case of A. nigroenia, the females emit a mixture of tricosane, pentacosane, and heptacosane in the ratio 3,3,1, and males are attracted by specifically this odor. The orchid takes advantage of this mating arrangement to get the male bee to collect and disseminate its pollen, parts of its flower not only resemble the appearance of sand bees but also produce large quantities of the three alkanes in the same ratio as female sand bees. As a result, numerous males are lured to the blooms and attempt to copulate with their imaginary partner, Although this endeavor is not crowned with success for the bee, it allows the orchid to transfer its pollen, which will be dispersed after the departure of the frustrated male to different blooms. As stated earlier, the most important source of alkanes is natural gas and crude oil. Alkanes are separated in an oil refinery by fractional distillation and processed into many different products. The fischer tropsch process is a method to synthesize liquid hydrocarbons, including alkanes, from carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This method is used to produce substitutes for petroleum distillates. There is usually little need for alkanes to be synthesized in the laboratory, since they are usually commercially available. Also, Alkanes are generally unreactive chemically or biologically, and do not undergo functional group interconversions cleanly. When alkanes are produced in the laboratory, it is often a side product of a reaction. For example, the use of N-butyl lithium as a strong base gives the conjugate acid, N-butane as a side product. However, at times it may be desirable to make a section of a molecule into an alkane-like functionality using the above or similar methods. For example, an ethyl group is an alkyl group, when this is attached to a hydroxy group, it gives ethanol, which is not an alkane. To do so, the best known methods are hydrogenation of alkenes. Alkanes or alkyl groups can also be prepared directly from alkyl halides in the Corey-House-Posner-Wythsides reaction. 
The Barton Macomi deoxygenation removes hydroxyl groups from alcohols, e.g., and the Clemmensen reduction removes carbonyl groups from aldehydes and ketones to form alkanes or alkyl substituted compounds, e.g. The applications of alkanes depend on the number of carbon atoms. The first four alkanes are used mainly for heating and cooking purposes, and in some countries for electricity generation. Methane and ethane are the main components of natural gas, they are normally stored as gases under pressure. It is, however, easier to transport them as liquids. This requires both compression and cooling of the gas. Propane and butane are gases at atmospheric pressure that can be liquefied at fairly low pressures and are commonly known as liquefied petroleum gas. Propane is used in propane gas burners and as a fuel for road vehicles, butane in space heaters and disposable cigarette lighters. Both are used as propellants in aerosol sprays. From pentane to octane the alkanes are highly volatile liquids. They are used as fuels in internal combustion engines, as they vaporize easily on entry into the combustion chamber without forming droplets, which would impair the uniformity of the combustion. Branched chain alkanes are preferred as they are much less prone to premature ignition, which causes knocking, than their straight chain homologues. This propensity to premature ignition is measured by the octane rating of the fuel, where 2,2,4 trimethylpentane has an arbitrary value of 100, and heptane has a value of 0. Apart from their use as fuels, the middle alkanes are also good solvents for nonpolar substances. Alkanes from nonane to, for instance, Hexadecane are liquids of higher viscosity, less and less suitable for use in gasoline. They form instead the major part of diesel and aviation fuel. Diesel fuels are characterized by their cetane number, cetane being an old name for hexadecane. However, the higher melting points of these alkanes can cause problems at low temperatures and in polar regions where the fuel becomes too thick to flow correctly. Alkanes from hexadecane upwards form the most important components of fuel oil and lubricating oil. In the latter function, they work at the same time as anti-corrosive agents, as their hydrophobic nature means that water cannot reach the metal surface. Many solid alkanes find use as paraffin wax, for example, in candles. This should not be confused however with true wax, which consists primarily of esters. Alkanes with a chain length of approximately 35 or more carbon atoms are found in bitumen, used, for example, in road surfacing. However, the higher alkanes have little value and are usually split into lower alkanes by cracking. Some synthetic polymers such as polyethylene and polypropylene are alkanes with chains containing hundreds of thousands of carbon atoms. These materials are used in innumerable applications, and billions of kilograms of these materials are made and used each year. Alkanes are chemically very inert apolar molecules which are not very reactive as organic compounds. This inertness yields serious ecological issues if they are released into the environment. Due to their lack of functional groups and low water solubility, alkanes show poor bioavailability for microorganisms. There are, however, some microorganisms possessing the metabolic capacity to utilize N alkanes as both carbon and energy sources. Some bacterial species are highly specialized in degrading alkanes, these are referred to as hydrocarbonoclastic bacteria. Methane is flammable, explosive, and dangerous to inhale, because it is a colorless, odorless gas, special caution must be taken around methane. 
Ethane is also extremely flammable, dangerous to inhale and explosive. Both of these may cause suffocation. Similarly, propane is flammable and explosive. It may cause drowsiness or unconsciousness if inhaled. Butane has the same hazards to consider as propane. Alkanes also pose a threat to the environment. Branched alkanes have a lower biodegradability than unbranched alkanes. However, methane is ranked as the most dangerous greenhouse gas. Although the amount of methane in the atmosphere is low, it does pose a threat to the environment. Hazards The number of electrons surrounding the molecule, which increases with the alkane's molecular weight, the surface area of the molecule. Initiation The halogen radicals form by homolysis. Usually, energy in the form of heat or light is required, chain reaction or propagation then takes place the halogen radical abstracts a hydrogen from the alkane to give an alkyl radical. This reacts further, chain termination where the radicals recombine.